Hi everybody, we're expecting a four mark question and a six mark question to come from Extract 3 this year. Um, this could well be your four mark question, although I think it's a little bit too open and too simple. I think a different question is more likely, but it could still come up, you never know, so you have to prepare just in case. Remember the technique of answering a four mark question, go and watch my previous video if you're unsure about it. But essentially it's a shopping list of four distinct points you need to make. Remember about my model answer guide which you can get to complement your revision here. I've written model answers to all kinds of potential questions I can come up with this year which will give you perfect, perfect guidance to smash the exam in the summer. Links are in the description box below to this video for you to get that guide. I heavily recommend getting it. Um, so we're looking at making four distinct points to a question like this. Explain what is meant by the terms of trade. Very, very simple question. So one distinct point is just explaining what it is. So it's an index measuring the average index price of exports relative to the average index price of imports. Uh, in simple English, you define what the terms of trade tells us. So the terms of trade index tells us how many imports can a given basket of exports buy. That's what it tells us. You will state the equation, so the terms of trade is equal to the average index price of exports divided by the average index price of imports. Anything along those lines is fine, and then times by 100, so you'd write that equation down. So that's three distinct points, you could say, but you need to make one more. So you just give an example of what an improvement in the terms of trade could be, so from 100 to 102. You might want to write how that could happen, but remember, you just want to explain uh, the terms of trade, that's what the question is asking. So uh, showing an improvement and then explain what that means is showing an understanding of what the terms of trade is. So 100 to 102, what does this mean? It means that a given basket of exports can buy 2% more imports than it could in the base year. You might want to also explain the deterioration, maybe what caused it, but more importantly, show a figure, so from 100 to 98. What does that mean? It means that a given basket of exports can buy 2% less imports than in the base year. You made your four distinct points very clearly. Crack on, uh, get ready for the next uh, question in the exam. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you in the next video.